Okay, here we're talking setup. We've got an iron here. The golfer's going to set up for level lie, pretty much every ball that's not teed up. It's going to be positioned in the center of your stance. Ball's in the center of your stance. Arms are hanging from your shoulders. There's no forceful protruding of the right hands, of the, of the hands forward of the ball. Now, trouble comes when we pick up a driver and we set with a driver. Because the ball is teed up, we're going to set up with the ball position of the driver much closer to the left foot than the middle of the stance. And therefore, the trouble that we often, seen, often see is that people try to get their heads and their body up near where the ball is. And therefore, they open up their shoulders and they create a situation where they're going to swing down at the ball very steeply. So in order to counteract that, you want to set back. A suggestion is to think of putting 55% of your weight on your right leg and your shoulder, instead of your right shoulder being forward towards the ball, your right shoulder is going to be down and away. That keeps your left side and your left arm in a very dominant position and it keeps your right arm for right-handed golfers in a very submissive position. Now, if we go ahead and do a little drill to help you keep your shoulder girdle nice and flexible so that you can drop that right shoulder. We're going to put our hands together in a praying position. You going to keep your spine stable. And what you're going to do here is you're going to slide your right arm down and now slide your right arm back as you slide your left arm down, keeping both elbows straight. So you're going to go back and forth and back and forth. This is going to help stretch everything out and keep you flexible so that you can put that right hand grip on your driver and get set up without opening your shoulders. Hope this has been helpful. Take care.